this for real? He's funny. Neon Light Stewart! What's up guys? It's Monday. You're back at Clever Thieves. What's going on? I'm Dana Ward with Jocelyn Davis. We've got a fun show. It's time for new Beats. So even though we've heard Selena take on a fabulous rendition of Lord's popular track, Royals, it looks like Lord is a little bit skeptical of Selena's music. So the singer told Radio New Zealand that the way that a lot of pop music portrays women is not a healthy thing. That's definitely positive and I support it. Girl power. But Lord went on to call out Selena's lyrics. Quote, when you're ready, come and get it. I'll be sitting here just waiting, saying that it's pathetic and that girls shouldn't be listening to that message. Obviously, everyone has an opinion on her opinion, and they're all different. Something that really isn't arguable, in my opinion, is how Lord says to Metro Magazine that she has an issue with how young girls perceive their favorite musicians to be flawless. Don't get it twisted though, she did not burn Taylor Swift as some outlets are reporting. Lord just mentioned that Taylor is a great example of a pretty, flawless, unattainable star who teens look up to. So do you think that most of the popular female artists out there are just too darn perfect in the image department and set the bar too high for young girls? Post a comment below. Speaking of Taylor Swift, well even though she's officially besties for life with Selena Gomez, she was spotted over the weekend having a GDO. You know, a girl's day out with Demi Lovato. The pair was shopping at Barney's New York in Los Angeles where they also ran into Kelly Osbourne, Small World. Kelly tweeted out directly to the two singers to say, it was so lovely running into you both today. I can't wait for our girly hashtag real talk and dinner. Call me XOXO. Um, can we go? We want in this girly real talk. Call us. After all these years and two Joan Jonas breakups, it makes us beyond happy to see that friendships like this one can stand the test of time. WTF! WTF! Is, is this a photo of Harry Styles and Paige Reifler making out? Um, I'm not sure. I know that that shirt is conveniently covering the face of the guy. It's true, and the girl though, too. All you see are her shorts or maybe her swimsuit bottom. I'm not and really maybe sure. maybe her legs. She has some cute boots on and very, very long legs, so. Yes, she does, but they do know each other, mm -hmm. so it could totally be them. She's a model in New York, and they did hang out five weeks ago. For sure, she posted this photo booth pic. It was taken at Soho House, and she posted it on her Insta account. Mm, it could be her, it's possible, but it could also be any of the other tons of people that Harry Styles has posted photos of in the past. He likes and model ladies. He sure does. Now, the guy that posted this photo is named Walter Martinez, and he seems slightly, slightly shady. Him and two of his oh. friends are said to be trying to blackmail Paige with the photos, what? but then some people seem to think that she's involved, and we're not really sure what to think here. But since I like talking about the things I do know, something that we do know is that Harry Styles definitely has a type when it comes to girls. Um, just check this out, guys. Taylor Swift, Cara Delevingne, and Paige Reifler all lined up. Gorgeous, leggy, blonde. Boom! Harry Styles type. Bam! So you guys may have heard the news that broke over the weekend. J-Law is set to have a cameo in the Dumb and Dumber sequel. I am so excited about this. Yay! It's so hilarious and we can only assume that she signed on because she's a really big fan of the original Jim Carrey and Jeff Daniels movie. So true because actually when Jimmy Fallon interviewed her way back in the day, she said this quote, I know every word to Dumb and Dumber, Step Brothers, and Anchorman. So this what, is like what? foreshadowing to her future. Pretty crazy. Uh -huh. And then Jimmy asked her to reenact a scene. We actually have a clip. Give me a scene. Go. Uh, dumb and Dumber uh, at the end where Jim Carrey is talking to the girls. In the You'll have to excuse my friend here. He's a little slow. The town is that way. Hey, there you go. <laughs> Oh my God. But this round, Jennifer's playing a younger version of the Kathleen Turner character. I can't wait to see that happen. Oh, Me neither. Love that. And she was actually able to just slide on over from the Atlanta set of Mockingjay to shoot this cameo for Dumb and Dumber 2, which is also shooting in Georgia. In fact, we hear via The Hollywood Reporter that much of the Hunger Games cast actually visited the comedy shoot. I think they should all be in the movie. I'm obsessed with this movie. Dumb and Dumber 2 felt T.O. comes out in theaters next year. Maybe they will have a cameo, like all of them. We can only wish, dream, and hope, and pray. Right now on Hit Us Up, we're talking about Demi's new tour announcement. I am so excited for the Neon Lights tour. This tour almost seems yes. too good to be true. Like, even if we had imagined this, which we probably had at some point, 
We never thought this would actually happen. No way. This Fifth is Harmony is going to be on every single tour date, and then there's going to be special guests along the way. Little Mix and Cher Lloyd. I mean, we're obviously having a major FGM fangirl moment, yeah. and we kind of think you guys are too. So okay. you hit us up, and at twerking fangirl said this. I cried. You know what? I'm feeling a little oh. emotional right now too. At Sharon C. Burnett said, I think it's an awesome idea. I love her and 5H. Little Mix, so much. Smiley face. Don't forget about Cher. She's in there too. Love her too. At Camilla Kabuti98 said, Yes, they gon' slay. I think translation is. Yeah. <laughs> translation They gon' rock. They're gonna be really awesome on stage together. That's the translation. I really hope there's an on-stage collaboration between all of these amazing artists. I honestly can't breathe thinking about it. Just goosebumps covering my whole arm. Can you imagine all? I know of them they're poking me. It's really weird. Skyscraper or oh wings. Oh, that would be so fun. I'm oh so my gosh, excited. I'm so excited. <laughs> Tickets actually go on pre-sale October 5th. All the details are at DemiLovato.com. I did a story on it if you want to check it out. Just you click should the check, link it below. check it out. Check it out, And thanks so much for hitting us up on Clever Feed. Remember to come back every day, Monday through Friday. We will be here dishing you the news. Uh, and as always, when we're here tomorrow, we gon' slay. We gon' slay.